Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to Blunt Sagittaria. My name is Robin, and Sagi, today, let's do a general love reading, baby. Let's talk about you. Let's see what's going on, what's coming through, what's happening in the collective for Sagi in the Department of Love. What do we got here? What do we got? We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And then we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. All right, well, Sagittarius, let's talk about this. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going down. Get down to business. I'm Sagi. For those of you who are interested, I'm open for personal readings. Look at this, Empress in the house. So if you're interested, the link for those readings are in the description box below. We got the Empress, baby. We got Justice. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, let's get down to business. But looks like the Empress is getting exact. Hold on a second. I dropped this card. Actually, there's a couple cards down here. Let's see what they are. Two of Cups, baby. We got the Six of Pentacles. Um, okay, three more. We'll get. That's what I thought. We had Page of Pentacles. Okay, and two more here for Sagittarius. We'll get into this, darling. We'll get into this. We got. Oh my motherfucking gosh. Holy mo. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, I know you see the cards. I know you see the cards. We have the Empress. We have the Emperor. We got the Two of Cups. We got the Page of Pentacles. We got the Six of Cups. We got the Ten of Cups. We have all the cards you want to see in a love reading, baby. All the cards you want to see in a love reading. Let me say it one more time. Let me say it one more time. Third time's a charm. We got all the cards. I don't even remember what I said now. I'm so excited for Sajet. Um, you got all the cards you want to see in a love reading. So let's get down to business. Looks like you're getting exactly what you deserve, exactly what you want. You know, Saj, maybe you've been focusing on career and finances and, you know, getting yourself established and, and, and foundation built. Or maybe the person that you're meant to be with has been doing that here. We have two. We have power couple alert, power couple alert, power couple alert. With the emperor and the empress here, this is long term. This is two compatible people. This is two powerful people knowing who they are, standing in their ground, coming together to make beautiful love. We got the two of cups. I'm so out of order, but... I just feel like you're getting exactly what you want. Whether you've already met this person or not is, is going to be different. I do get a very new vibe here. Um, so if you've met them, you recently met them or you're about to meet them here um, with chemistry. The chemistry is insane. You guys are compatible. You're getting what you deserve. Now let's talk about this Ace of Wands in reverse. Why is this Ace of Wands in reverse? What does it all mean? Whoa, justice again. Good clarity there, spirit gods. Good clarity there. Okay, let's see what all comes out with it. <laughs> the tower. Whoa. Oh, the devil. Well, well, well. Um, so what I feel. <laughs> there's the eight of cups. Yeah, and there's the king of cups. Wow. Cancer Scorpio Pisces could be as well. I do feel that they're the okay, so what I feel is there's deep feelings, but I also feel like there needs to be feelings here before things develop. I feel there's fantasizing. I feel there's lust, but I don't feel there's any physical contact or intimacy here. I feel you guys are getting to know each other, building that bond, building that chemistry and making sure that you want to be in a relationship before any naughty time goes down. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Libra or a Scorpio. Um, but this three major arcana is clarifying the Ace of Wands in reverse. So I think you're just resisting that. You want to get to know each other, date each other, you know, do the compatibility element of the relationship before any physical connection happens. It's a no from Sajay Dog. Um, you're holding back. You're resisting that energy. Um, you just want to... Hold on. Those just like flew out and fell right in my lap. Yeah. Page of pen. Yeah. You want to make sure, you know, it's a center energy of you're not... No, no naughty time until you guys are physically committed, right? It's no. Uh, you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to get attached. You want to get your emotions hurt. You don't want to jump into bed too soon. Um, you don't want to do that. So I feel like with this Page of Pentacles... There has to be a commitment. There has to be that loyalty to each other before naughty time goes down. It's difficult to talk about that kind of thing on YouTube because there's all these rules about it. So I hope you know what I'm saying, but I think you know what I'm saying. Um, and I don't want to get in trouble on YouTube. So you're just taking this slow um, and getting to know this person, which is beautiful. But with the Six of Cups here, you feel a strong bond. You want to make sure it's an equal give and take. You guys are on the same level, right? You don't want to... You, basically getting to know each other, knowing their intentions, building your bond, building your connection. But as far as love goes, this is a beautiful bond. There is a serious physical attraction. There's an emotional connection. Ten of cups. You guys have fun. You make each other happy. Most likely got some butterflies. You know, SWB got some weak in the knees energy going down. Um, is there anything else you want to say to Sajay about this love relationship, this love story here? Anything else? What do they want to say? 
<laughs> Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords. This is your name shining armor, baby. Um, men or female, no, no matter. Woman can jump in that suit here and sweep you off your feet as well. So we got some daydreaming. We got some, you know, when you look into each other's eyes, I do feel there's a past life connection here with the Six of Cups energy, and you both know it. So Saji, there's a lot of potential here. This person that you've recently met or about to meet is husband, wife, common law, relationship, partner relationship. Let's build a life. Let's have some good times. Let's make some memories. So there's a lot of potential with this person. So excellent love reading for the Sag Collective. Let's get into some oracles. We'll get back to the tarot, baby. We'll get back to the tarot. We'll see how this is progressing and how you guys are doing in a month. Spirit guides, what's the care and connection between Sag? We have telepathic, eh? Okay. So close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized. Or homo creating moments of telepathy at a brain fart. I don't know why I couldn't read for a sec. Okay, signs. Watch out for the signs leading you to true love, darling. Um, I don't want to get the hidden truth. I feel like it's new. So let's just grab this and we'll see what we'll see what they want to say. We'll grab the messages of the oracles. We'll see what they want to say. Yeah, I don't normally throw these in like this, but I am. What is oh, one. What's that? Detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Okay. So and then I. You're a better person than I am. I feel shattered about the situation. Someone's going on. And then hope. I haven't given a hope. So, so, so. That could be why there's no naughty time here. Um, there could be a little bit of detachment, a little bit of avoidance. Or um, I just kind of feel like it's more of avoiding certain things and getting to know each other. But hey, maybe you do know each other and there is a little bit of a conflict. They really didn't read it that way. But each of you have your own situation that's going to be applicable. <laughs> we'll take the card that's relevant to you. Okay. Well, let's just get into it. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will, Sajay. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. When I say outcome, let's see where you guys are in a month. Let's see how it's going. Let's see how things are progressing. Let's see if maybe that's a foreshadow or a warning. Let's find out. We're going to talk about it. Let's get down to business. No, oh, we got the Hierophant. Yeah, we got the Devil in Reverse. Oh, baby. Here the Eight of Cups. We got the Hierophant. Yeah, that's... I knew that was where it was leading. One more. We'll get your potential outcome. I like five. We got the Knight. Knight of, there's a cross. Whoa. The, uh, you're very independent. There's a King of Cups. There's a Knight of Swords. There's a Three of Cups. That King of Cups was another person. So sad. Jay. Okay. This is talking about this person. So I had taken when the King of Cups had appeared, I thought it was just the emperor showing up as a king um, because that's what happens. It can happen, right? The emperors and the empress are the kings and queens in one. The thing is you have a decision to make. Commitments on the table, but I think, I think this King of Cups and this attachment is an X energy. I do feel there's an X energy in the, in the well, that's why I think this King of Cups is in the rushing in here, um, telling you that they had to let us. Now this card makes sense. <laughs> Okay, okay. So uh, you have an ex coming back here in a month. They want you, they want you to themselves. Um, the devil's in reverse here with the eight of cups, which tells me you've let go of that ex though. You might have thought it was toxic. You might have thought it was unhealthy. You might have not liked the way that they treated you. Um, but I feel that you've walked away from that. You have jumped into this relationship, this connection you're moving towards with this emperor. Um, but I do feel a very strong independent sense. So I don't feel like I feel it's leading towards commitment. I don't feel you've completely committed yet, but that's where it's heading. I do feel you're trying to set your boundaries, make sure that you can keep your independence. Sad you're independent and the person you're dealing with could be as well. Um, so I feel that you have stayed single here. You are progressing forward. It's heading towards a relationship. You're walking away from something very unhealthy, very toxic, and you're letting go of those past stories, those past energies, which is this person. But there they are rushing in, wanting to talk and re reunite. They've been waiting for the right time. They've been holding on. But look, <laughs> no, that's what they're met with. The queen of Maravaka and the swords. That's why I chuckled. It's a no. But be aware that they are still in your energy here. So they still got their eye. Maybe they got wind, got some rumors that you're moving on, met someone new. But they're coming back telling you this. They want to clear their mind. Now they know what they want which is you, uh, and but you've moved towards something different. So yeah, there's the lovers. Yeah, you're working on this relationship here. Um, so just be aware of that. The ex kind of makes a reappearance here. Nice little twist and tw turn to the event. The ex is always popping up left, right, and center. Getting a little jealous. Um, but oh well. <laughs> Take it as a compliment, baby. They can't get over you. Uh, but so I just see you moving forward. I just feel like, again, with this, first of all, this is an excellent energy that yeah, you're in. And if you're the masculine, the feminine is just very, very independent, um, takes care of business, very attractive, very comfortable. And I feel like you're trying to make sure that you 
transition into a relationship naturally, um, but also keeping your own life, keeping your own thing and not getting consumed by this. So keeping your independence here is an important aspect is what I feel, Sag. So that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So <laughs> if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe, Sag. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you so much for your support. You have no idea how much it means to me. So thank you. Um, and let's close off your reading today with a yes or no question. Yes or no? Yes. That's what I got, Saj. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.